You failed, princess. Daryl. Thank God you're all right. I was afraid of what I might have done to you. Don't... don't be upset about what you did to me. Whatever I was, I had to be stopped. You had no choice, Daryl, but you did it. Whatever it was that was controlling me is gone now. For the first time in my life, everything is so clear. I'm sorry I ever treated you so poorly. You were always there for me, even if I didn't want you there. That's what a friend does, I guess. They stick around. God, I didn't deserve it, but... Thank you, Daryl. Thank you for being my friend. Now, get out of here, before my daddy murders you. <laughs> Murder you? Before I've even had a chance to meet you? With silly ideas like that, it's no wonder Princess was a failed experiment. Alas, such is life when one tries to create a human super weapon. I suppose I'll simply have to find my police for the new world order elsewhere. I am delighted that she was not a complete waste of resources, however. She did lead you to me. 
Daryl Whitelaw. You have made quite the splash here at Waterfalls. A true man about town, if I've ever seen one. I am so very ecstatic that I get to meet you in the flesh at last. I am Eli Bavarius. If I may be so bold, would you mind answering me where you learn such a refined social etiquette? A self-help book, perhaps? You know, Daryl, I've always been something of a cheerleader for self-help. There's nothing more honorable than a human taking responsibility for their flaws in their pursuit of perfection. And from what I've heard, your skill of interacting with others is second to none. My subordinates have been raving to me of your accomplishments for weeks now. You meddled quite admirably in my classrooms, I must admit. Besting my honor guard is no small feat, even going so far as to destroy my dear princess. Even I could not have predicted such an outcome. <laughs> of course, it was you who corrupted her so effortlessly with your outside influences. Had you not interfered with her incubation process, her ascension would have been flawless. Tell me, Daryl, I have lived thousands of years. I have experienced nearly all that a man might experience. However, there is one thing that even I could not bring myself to do. Not personally, at least. What is it like to kill your best friend? Yes! Yes! I knew you were what they said you were! Oh, I am so pleased! I knew that you had it in you! Daryl, you have accomplished what no other has been capable of! You've achieved Super Deluxe! Princess may have been a failure, but you, you are what I need! You are the perfect honor student, Daryl! So brilliant! So powerful! Join me, Daryl! Together we will rewrite this pathetic world! I shall be the battery, and you, my guardian! What, Daryl? No response? Do you mean to defy me? You think that because you've mastered my book and achieved super deluxe form that you can stop me? <laughs> You're forgetting, Daryl. I wrote that book. I've been super deluxe for a thousand years! Smash you out of existence! Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to kick your ass into the- What's that? Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna take the face off your skin! Ooh. Never had your ass kicked by- Ooh. Join! Ooh. I'm gonna take the skin off your face. I'm gonna.
out of power. All the blows we've exchanged, yet between the two of us, there's not a scratch or you've properly destroyed my axis, destroyed my honor guard, murdered my daughter. But face it, there is nothing you can do to stop me. Your only option is to join me, Daryl. There's no end to this battle. Daryl! Use the cleaner! The cleaner? <laughs>